this is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm an applications expert with MLC CAD Systems, and I'm coming to you today with another tech tip regarding SolidWorks inspection. And what I'm gonna be talking about today is setting key features. What I have open on my screen right now is already a project where I have gone through and already ballooned everything. So we're just gonna take a look at some key feature information. If I click on this first balloon, notice how this is actually set to a key feature, but notice how I don't necessarily see a balloon change. I don't have the letter K next to it. Those are some items that visually we would have seen in some of the very early versions of inspection. In some of the later versions, we have a different way that we can control balloon colors, sizes, when we have things like key features or even other classifications. The way that we can set that up is going under our options. Now, first I'm gonna go under lists and I'm gonna choose classification. Now our four main classifications are already here, critical, major, minor, and incidental. You can actually choose to add additional items to this list, such as a key feature. That is something that we can definitely add. And I'm just removing a blank one that I happen to have on the screen there. From here, I'm going to go down into my ballooning section in my options. Now you notice that I have a couple of characteristics set up or classifications. So what this actually allows us to do is I can set up for a critical classification. I can choose this to have a specific balloon shape. I can have a different fill color if I want, or I can choose to leave this on blue. What I can also do is change this to be a key feature. And if you want this to add a prefix such as the letter K, we can add that in. And perhaps I want this to be a diamond. Now with this being a key feature, I'm gonna change the color to be something red, something we're definitely going to see. And I'm gonna change the text size to be a little bit smaller. And from here, I'm gonna click OK, and we're gonna see what this actually does. So now going back to balloon number one, this is set to a key feature. Notice how it still didn't update. That particular setting that we just took a look at doesn't link itself to this key checkbox, but what it does do is link it into the classification so that when I choose key, it will automatically update the balloon, the color, and add my prefix to it. This is a great way that we can go through and automate having key features show up differently inside of our inspection projects. Of course, once you're done with this, please remember to save your project template that way, any changes, all of those little settings that we added for the key features and classifications will be there. So I hope this will help you regarding your key features inside of SOLIDWORKS inspection. And of course, if you have any questions about this, feel free to contact us at MLC CAD Systems. We're more than, than happy to answer your questions. Thanks.